Chain Chomp and Honey Coop. Strangely, in the texture map for the Honey Coop, you can find an icon of a Chain Chomp that you don't actually see on the car. I have no idea why it's there. DK Feet Texture Finally, the chance to talk about an ape's foot on my channel. In the character selection screen of the game, you might notice that Donkey Kong's feet look a bit strange, and that's because his ankle is actually his mouth. It's a weird texture issue, and it's something I will never unsee, and congratulations because now you will never unsee it. DK Summit Area So in Mario Kart Wii, area files are regions where the player can be inside so that the game knows what camera to use for replays and some other things. However, the area file for Donkey Kong Summit is unusually gigantic. It pretty much dwarfs the rest of the course. The cutting room floor suggests it might have something to do with the fog on the course, but it's only speculation and the reason behind this huge file remains a mystery. Selection screen and gameplay texture differences. So the game uses slightly different character models during gameplay as opposed to the ones featured on the selection screen. A notable one is Donkey Kong. Like we just mentioned, the foot issue only appears on the character selection screen and not during gameplay. Donkey Kong Mountain Missing Translation So when Donkey Kong Mountain was ported to Mario Kart Wii from Double Dash, it was done so almost perfectly. Almost. Because this random transition between two sections of the road isn't there, and they just have this abrupt ugly transition. It's not a huge problem by any means, but it's clearly an oversight when this course is being created. 95% rule. The 95% rule is an interesting but incredibly complicated concept in the game that is best explained in this video. To put it simply, the game will disregard a lap where the player skips at least 95% of it. So to make the perfect shortcut, you ideally have to skip 94.99999% of the shortcut. It's especially important to understand this coconut mall shortcut, but in general this is a concept that really only pertains to advanced runs. Desert Hills Backwards Shortcut I believe this entry is referring to this shortcut right here. It's usually banned in online competitive play, so I wouldn't advise trying it. Cut Boo Item It's speculated that a boo item was originally intended to be in the game. How do we know this? Well, according to Nintendo Power Volume 227, boo was listed as an item for the game, but obviously never appeared. Why is this? We don't know. Off-Roader Can Wall Clip Unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure what this entry is talking about because technically, pretty much all vehicles can wall clip, so this might be referring to a specific video that I'm just not sure of, but if you know, please let us know in the comments. Stats on selection screen are wrong. The graphics on the vehicle select screen don't read from vehicle stats, but a separate file called machine underscore para dot bin. This is done because if the real stats were read, some would be lopsided when put onto the bars, or they just don't fit perfectly well relative to one another. So the stats were basically just estimated, and in doing so, the devs got many completely incorrect. Interestingly, the devs seem to mistake drift acceleration bonus with drift points, so they have points in the drift category that should be in the acceleration category. Basically what this means is these stats just mean absolutely nothing. Dutch Translation Dutch is a Wii supported language, but strangely, it's not available in Mario Kart Wii. It's the only missing Wii supported language. Ending Red Pipe The Ending Red Pipe is this pipe in the screen of the rankings banner taking place at sunset. It's strange because when you compare it to the one at daytime, the pipe is green. For whatever reason, the sunset banner for Luigi's Circuit is just poorly edited, and there's actually other issues like hills missing, and the red pipe is really just one of them. Mario Raceway Invisible Wall In Mario Raceway, there exists this strange one-way invisible wall. I have no idea why it exists. Beta Textures in the Base Game You can find some textures hidden in the game's files that were likely used during an early stage of development but were eventually removed. These include Wii wheel icons, a different Luigi Circuit banner, and what I think is most interesting is the Luma's original color. Interestingly, the original Luma color is present in the true ending cutscene, but not during the awards ceremony. You can see here that they're slightly different, so the developers probably just forgot to replace it. Though, to my knowledge, the Luma is the only potential beta texture that you can see during normal gameplay. And also, if it's a beta texture that ends up in the real game, at that point, it's really not a beta texture anymore, so maybe these guys are just slightly different colored for whatever reason. Pow Hop Dodge a POW hop dodge is when you avoid the impact of a POW block by hopping in a very precise window. 
It's extremely difficult to pull off, but can be done fairly consistently. It's pretty similar to the other POW dodge we talked about earlier. Special Ghosts Special Ghosts were ghosts sent by Nintendo through the internet. Many think this was an unused feature, since it isn't mentioned on the English web a lot because it wasn't used in the West whatsoever, but it was actually used for two individuals, Kimbam of Korea and Medeka Ikono of Japan. Kim Bum's ghost was advertised by Nintendo, even showing a video of him recording his lap time. Though it's in Korean, most of the website has been archived, which you can check out. It's a similar deal for Ikeno, who was chosen for appearing in some Japanese Nintendo commercials. This is pretty cool, and it's interesting that Nintendo added this feature and only used it twice. Going into Rainbow Road Cannon Backwards Have you ever wanted to do a lap of Rainbow Road backwards? Probably not, because that sounds horrible, and likely impossible due to the fact that there's some one-way roads and this cannon. But, would you believe that it's possible to do without any mods? First off, you can get up this part of the road using a well-timed explosion to stop you from falling, but that's not the coolest part. The awesome part is that even though there's this wall here, you can enter the cannon backwards with some absolutely insanely precise movement like this. So yes, you can completely run this course backwards, which is just nuts. Ramps are unbelievably complicated. This is a pretty open-ended entry, but it's sort of just talking about how there's much more to ramps than meets the eye. There are so many ways you can hit ramps differently, and if you're interested in learning more, I suggest checking out one of the many Mario Kart Wii Advanced tutorials out there. HD China Release Oddly enough, Mario Kart Wii was intended to be released in China on the NVIDIA Shield. Since the Wii was released during China's lengthy console ban, Mario Kart Wii was never launched in China, so Nintendo had the idea to launch an HD version of Mario Kart Wii on the NVIDIA Shield, a streaming device, in order to make some sales off the game since it never had the chance to be released in China, along with some other GameCube and Wii games. It had unique features to the game too, the most important one being that it ran in 1080p. The game was playable and has been spotted, but due to a slump in the government approval process, the game has yet to be released. There's really no information on the status for this build, but we can safely assume that we won't see this HD remaster of the game. A semi-related but interesting fact regarding this entry is that in the Korean version of Mario Kart Wii, lurking in the files are some artifacts of a simplified Chinese translation that never saw the light of day. Hopefully we can get some more information on the HD version soon. Big Penguin Reflection In a fall 2007 press conference for Mario Kart Wii, 11 screenshots of the game were showed off. Notice anything weird about this one? Hmm? Anything? Take a guess. Maybe it's the fact that it's facing the wrong way and like 10 feet away from the real penguin. When the game was released, little penguins had reflections, but big ones like this guy didn't. It's a tad strange that the reflection got removed instead of fixed, but hey, maybe there's a more complicated reason behind this. Who knows? All Mii's have wrong assigned stats. Mii's in the game have incorrectly labeled stats. In fact, small Mii's use Rosalina stats, medium Mii's use small Mii stats instead of their intended stats, and large Mii's try to use the medium Mii stats. It's a pretty strange mix-up to be honest. Baby Peach and Baby Daisy crown movement. So in the game, these characters have crowns, obviously, but they seem very fixed onto the head. However, there's leftover animation data in the game that reveals that the crown could have moved independently of the head like this. I'm not really sure why they took it out, especially because the animation seems pretty complete. Thai Bone Leftover In a similar vein to the previous entry, Funky Kong actually has an animation bone named Thai underscore one, which comes from all of his animations being copied from Donkey Kong. However, since he doesn't have a tie, the bone isn't attached to anything, but is still left in the files. If anything, this shows that these two characters weren't made to be similar, but that Funky Kong was genuinely just a copy of Donkey Kong with a texture change at the last minute. Also, this is random and not part of the entry, but I saw it on the cutting room floor page and I just had to show it. There's two leftover animations in the game's files of Luigi punching, which is just super funny. I mean, look at the size of his hand, it just gets huge. DKM Bridge Teleportation I'm not entirely sure what this entry is about, it may be referring to this technique right here, but again, I'm not entirely sure. CPU Racers Drive Backwards If you watch the end sequence of Luigi's Circuit, the camera pans upwards after you cross the finish line. Now if you were to keep watching or otherwise follow the cars by using a free cam mod or other means, you would see this crazy thing happen. I have literally no explanation for this. Lap Underflow 
Lap underflow is a very complicated technique that I myself don't fully understand, so I highly recommend watching this video for a better explanation. One of the outcomes of this is being able to get to lap 4 out of 3 while driving backwards. Yes, you did hear that correctly. I recommend checking it out. You can't skip the 50cc credits. While playing at 50cc, you can't skip the credits, though you can at higher speeds. I assume this is because Nintendo assumed that you would be playing for the first time at 50cc and they wanted to ensure you would watch the credits during your first playthrough, but afterwards you would be able to skip it, but you can't actually go back and skip it ever for 50cc. Zip Zip is the best vehicle in the game. This is absolutely true. I challenge you to go into Moji Lounge and just pick up the Zip Zip because of its incredible stats. No, actually, please don't. This is a meme. The Zip Zip is terrible. Korean font. Strangely, the Korean release of the game features a slightly different font compared to NTSC and PAL regions throughout the menus. It's very hard to tell, but the letters are slightly more condensed. Lost Tournaments. I believe this entry is just talking about the fact that many tournaments were one-time events and can never be played again. It's a crazy format to me. I think it's cool to host the tournaments, but strange not to leave the maps playable for custom games afterwards. It's awesome that these tournaments were held all those years ago and that they continued until 2014. But yeah, these tournaments had unique objectives that without mods can't be played anymore. A group of players led by Lesser Rate have been working on archiving the tournaments that have been run, and as of last year, all except for the third tournament have been recovered so you can play them yourself. Marty Alternate Path I have no idea what this is referring to, and if I get word from the creator, I'll update you guys. Moonview Highway Bridge Collision The collision model for the Moonview Highway Bridge is a lot different than the actual shape of the bridge. It's possible that this is a leftover from an earlier version of the map, but obviously we're not entirely sure why this is. Last WFC race. This entry is kind of sad. Like many game shutdowns, you weren't immediately booted off at midnight, rather, if you were logged in, you could keep playing, but you couldn't log in if you weren't in the match. Mr. Bean posted a video explaining how he identified the exact last match, and there does exist footage of it. Plenty of people played on the final day, but as far as the very last match goes, it was played and recorded by LXPU and you can watch it online. <coughs> So we bought up three shells and I can't do anything about it because he's he just got hit and nothing happened. So I'm screwed. Yeah, I couldn't enter. It, it can't just be wall to wall on my I mean a green line and this guy America. It is. I gotta say this is worldwide. If you watch the stream since the, the other stream the video, you'll see that is from the uh, worldwide section. It is still Wi-Fi key 212. So swords can't do anything at all whatsoever unless this guy has them and they do a private room. Yes. You were this No. Oh no, there goes the connection. Oh no. It is oh my god, the capture card is James Charles was a hacker. Okay, this entry is kind of insane. I thought it was a meme at first, but it's 100% true. James Charles was a member of the Mario Kart Wii community, but also specifically the Mario Kart Wii hacking community. He had a channel called Jay's Coding, which was proven to be him from years ago. The channel has since blown up artificially after people figured out who this kid was. Troy even did a video where he played with James, who confirmed the information about this channel to be true. Ski Drift a ski drift, otherwise known as a slip drift, is a technique in Mario Kart Wii that involves turning the opposite way you want to go, then switching back quickly. There's a better video explaining it here. It's a good technique to master if you're getting competitive. Useless Grass Patches 
I think this entry is talking about a couple instances of grass patches that could be used as a shortcut but are usually avoided in favor of better ones. This section of Mushroom Gorge is a good example where you could take this grass patch but there's a better option available. One-Sided Road As you can guess, Mario Kart Wii Collision is a bit weird. With that said, one of the weird features of this game is that the collision in roads is always one-sided, meaning you can pass through the roads if you come up under them. This was notably taken advantage of for the Rainbow Road World Record. Also, Mr. Bean created this fun track where you can go above and below the track, essentially by making the collision work on both sides, but it has a ton of weird effects on the game. Mushroom Peaks Theme The Mushroom Peaks theme is a score made for newer Super Mario Bros, a mod for new Super Mario Bros Wii. I don't think there's any relation between the two as far as what's contained in the music or the level itself, but it's probably just a little easter egg or shout out to Mushroom Peaks. World record failed due to earthquake. On October 15th, 2019, Mario Kart Wii player Cole tweeted that he failed a world record attempt due to an earthquake. He stated that his monitor started shaking on the third lap. This potential run has been the only Luigi circuit run with a sub 23 second first lap, so this is a major loss for the community and Cole. Mario Kart Wii physics don't exist. Obviously this is a joke, but again, just look at these physics, they make zero sense. Mama Mario Kart In one of the title screens that appears after the game has been completed, there's a very slim chance you can hear this voice clip from Mario. It's an edited version of Mario saying Mario Kart from the Mario Kart channel banner. I'm not exactly sure what the odds are, but it's extremely, extremely rare to hear it. Third Battle Balloon in the background screen for battle mode, there was at 1.3 balloons instead of 2 balloons and a coin. Though this was eventually swapped, instead of removing the third balloon, it was shrunk down 100 times, meaning you can't see it with the Wii's low resolution. But it still lurks there, watching you. Shooting Star Out of Bounds Bounce This refers to a shortcut that would require a lot of technical stuff to explain, but essentially you use the shooting star on desert hills to smack this pipe and fly out of bounds to be respawned right in front of the finish line. Technically, this doesn't require the shooting star, but the shooting star helps to get some more distance. Home menu banner logo flash is Japanese. Strangely, when the home menu logo flashes up like this, the flash texture contains the Japanese logo for the game before quickly disappearing. This is true in every version of the game except for the Korean one, regardless of what language you start the game in. Flame Flyer was made for time trials. This is a bit of a joke conspiracy theory, but it makes some sense. One could argue that the intention for this bike was simply to go fast, which makes a ton of sense, but I'm sure the developers didn't foresee it being as iconic as it is today, or that its association with time trials would be as strong as it is. Desert Hill's Negative Aura If you're not familiar with this concept, I would check out some videos about the negative aura in certain Mario games, but mainly Mario 64, specifically on Wet Dry World. Many people claim that there's just something off about this level, and others have generalized it to include other areas in Mario games. Mario Kart Wii is no exception, and people believe that Desert Hills has a particularly negative aura. While I don't feel it as strong as levels like Wet Dry World, maybe you can sort of feel it here. Tournaments use beta versions of tracks. Interestingly, some of the tournament versions of tracks contain elements from earlier builds of the game that were eventually changed or removed in the updated version, suggesting that the tournament courses were finished up earlier than the main courses, or that they might have been changed afterwards. There are some small details like the position of flowers on Mario Circuit that you probably wouldn't even notice, or how on Koopa Cape the three flags are missing from the giant shell in the distance. In the tournament version of Shy Guy Beach, the cameras that show the course before it's raced on move differently than in the final version. And for a tournament taking place on Mushroom Gorge, it's possible that a glitch leading to an ultra shortcut was patched. Alternate Grumble Volcano Ultra There are two possible ultra shortcuts on Grumble Volcano, though this one is slower, only possible in 200cc, and much, much harder to do, so no one really uses it, but you can see what it looks like here. Shortcuts that don't work I think this entry is referring to the plenty of theorized shortcuts in the game that have yet to be performed, but with the way that the community is making discoveries about this game, I'm sure there will be dozens of shortcuts discovered within the next 10 years or so. 
For these next two entries, Rainbow Road Ultra performed online and online checkpoint differences, I really don't have any answer to and I haven't heard back from the creator about, but if you know in the comments I would love to hear it. Ghost File Overflow if during a time trial you exceed 6 minutes or 5 minutes while using a Wii wheel, there's too many inputs for your ghost to be saved. But what that also means is that, hypothetically, if you use tools to make as many inputs as possible, you could overflow the ghost file in less than 6 minutes. So can we speedrun this? Obviously we can speedrun this. Wade474 actually did a speedrun where he used tools to spam inputs as quickly as possible to get this soft lock state. He was able to overflow the ghost file in just 24 seconds. Multiple Funky Kongs are NFTs. This is basically a meme which originated from this tweet, and I gotta say, I don't love game companies getting into the NFT business, but I could stand to have my mind change if there were Funky Kong NFTs. Old Main Menu There are some early menu and file selection related pages remaining in the game's files that aren't normally usable. There are many huge differences here, but it is a little odd that some of them were left in the game's files. The signs under palm trees, unfortunately, I don't have an answer to this entry either, I'm sorry, but if anyone knows, please let us know down in the comments. For video editing class, I needed to demonstrate three green screen effects. This refers to this epic tweet that I'll go ahead and play. I'm also going to go ahead and give a warning to headphone users for this one right here. It's a meme that comes from Maddie Alt. Just, just watch. <laughs> 